The dark web is purposely hidden from the public eye and can only be accessed using a special program such as the Tor browser. This browser allows you to view web pages ending with .onion. These pages cannot be accessed using a normal browser such as Safari. This area of the internet makes up only 4% of the entire web with extreme levels of illegality. And in this video, I will be taking a deep dive into the dark web. What's cracking YouTube is Crypto NWO here. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing a deep dive into the dark web. Everybody that watches these videos typically asks me in the beginning of these videos, like, how do I get into the deep and dark web? Here's a step-by-step -step guide. You simply download the Tor browser. You need a secure email address like ProtonMail or Tutanota or whatnot. And then bam, you are onto the dark net. Simple. Um, to make purchases on the dark web, you need some sort of cryptocurrency. Some people typically use Bitcoin. Some people typically use Monero. But you need some sort of cryptocurrency to make anonymous transactions on the dark web. The whole point of the dark web is to remain as anonymous as possible. So if you want to buy anything, you have to use Bitcoin. You can't use your bank card because your bank can like track everything you're doing. But some people want to know what the dark web is. Think of the surface web as Google, the Bings, the Wikipedias, the YouTube. You can go on Google and type in funniest man in the world and you'll be given a bunch of information. You'll be given a bunch of videos. But when we're talking about the deep and dark web, that's when the medical records come in, legal documents, scientific reports, subscription information, computer websites. For example, you can't go on Google and type in financial records and find people's financial records on Google. You can't find it on any search engine, but you could access the deep and dark web and you could find multilingual databases, academic information. And on the dark web, that's when it gets pretty freaking scary. You can find drugs trafficking, private communications, political protests, illegal information, Tor encrypted sites, the whole nine. 90% of the internet is considered the deep web, not the dark web the deep web, that whole YouTube, the whole Google you all know and love, that's like 4% of the internet. The deep web with all encrypted information, boring encrypted information, 90% of the internet. The dark web consists of 6% of the entire internet that you guys all know and love. There's a bunch of link directories. That's a great way to start for anybody that's browsing on the deep and dark web. Just be careful with which link directory you're gonna end up using in the long run because um, some of them are gonna take you to some pretty nefarious illegal websites. But I have all my links ready in this video. The first website we're gonna be taking a look at is called Light Money. There's like a lot of websites on the deep and dark web that's like this one. However, I picked this one because it kind of has like a Grand Theft Auto Vice City-esque vibe. It has like a 1980 Miami vibe. I don't know. I really like the way it looks, but there's a lot of websites like this on the deep and dark web where they claim to offer stolen credit card information for the price of Bitcoin. Like for example, you can buy $2,000 visa, $3,000 visa, or a $4,500 visa. You can buy these visas for a significantly less price worth of Bitcoin. Like for example, the $2,000 visa card costs $75 worth of Bitcoin. Then they have MasterCards and they have American Express for whatever reason. $3,000 $1,000 one cost $95 and the $4,500 one cost $115. Now, some people might be asking, where do they get this money from? This is all from people's crappy bank details. Like for example, if someone has crappy security for their bank, then a hacker could get a hold of their bank details and list it on the deep and dark web and list it for the price of Bitcoin and Monero. On this website, they also have $800 worth of PayPal accounts. Essentially, it's the same thing as the bank accounts. Somebody has a crappy PayPal security and a hacker gets a hold of their PayPal account. This PayPal account with $800 on it goes for $65 worth of Bitcoin. So you get your hands on $65 worth of Bitcoin and you go on this website and you send them $65 worth of Bitcoin and you have a PayPal account worth of $800. That's absolutely crazy. I'm sure you could probably log into that PayPal and send yourself the $800. That, that's probably what people do. They have Western Union. They have card transfers, money grams, payers. This website over here is really freaking crazy, but there's a lot of websites in the deep web that do exactly what this website offers. I'm showing you guys this one here because I kind of like the aesthetic of it, the little 1980 Miami-esque vibe. That's all with this website. The longer you guys watch this video, I'm going to be showing you guys darker and darker and darker things. So closer towards the end of the video, it's going to get pretty freaking dark, but this is a great way to start. And I also wanted to just give a little disclaimer here. Anything I show in this video, I want you guys to remember that this is all on the deep and dark web. Stay away from all these websites with a 50 foot pole. That's why these videos exist. I essentially go on these websites to give you guys a broad view of what's in the dark web. Never go on the dark web. I say it at the end of all of my videos. We're going to show you guys a chat website here. It's called the Black Hat Chat. Typically when I'm browsing the dark web or chatting on the dark web, web. Like my last chatting video was chatting with the dark web hitman. I used the talk to John Doe website, but this one here is called the black hat chat where I'm going to put my nickname as crypto NWO. I'm going to set a password, got to type in the code, pick a color, cyan, and I'm going to enter the chat. Apparently there's some people inside the chat right now and bam. So you can literally talk to people on here. And typically there's just a bunch of people asking for creepy links. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. My message is going to arrive at the top. It's not the typical top to bottom reading. It's kind of bottom to top. And that's basically a dark web chat. That's the look of a dark web chat. You can talk to a bunch of people anonymous 
anonymously. These people are also anonymous. It's just a bunch of trolls too, you know? If you think the regular internet's filled with trolls, man, you will love the dark web. But anyways, I'm gonna be coming back onto the chat very shortly to see if anybody has any creepy links for me. Hopefully they're not gonna show anything illegal. The next thing I wanted to show you guys in the dark web, and this is actually a real world problem, but they're called ATM skimmers. An ATM skimmer for the people that don't know, think of all the ATMs you've ever been to in your life. Some of those ATMs have like hacked parts over here. So if you put your card into the ATM, there's some machines that will scan all the information of your card and it will go all straight to a hacker. The hacker will get all of your information. These are actual skimmers over here that they sell on the deep and dark web and that's really freaking scary so for example at tim hortons i used to work at tim hortons which is a coffee place in canada for the people that don't know but they told us in a training video that someone could come inside the tim hortons and whenever you're not looking they can change the entire debit machine whenever you're not looking so when someone comes in to buy a coffee they put in their debit card and all that information is going to go to the hacker the person that switched it it's really freaking creepy and when I, I remember watching that video and it traumatized me so when i came across this on the deep and dark web i just wanted to show you guys for example that little debit machine that somebody can place inside a coffee shop and steal anybody's information. That costs, oh my God, it actually full out is here. DHL, UPS, FedEx, save track one and two plus pin, sends the data through GSM, can process both debit and credit cards, never communicates with the bank server, gives the customer a receipt for the transaction. It costs $1,099. So for example, if I add this to my cart, how does it, oh my God, this is an actual coded website. If I hit checkout, I'm sure you're gonna probably have to pay in cryptocurrency, but this is really free freaking weird man atm skimmers you just have to be very careful i'm just really freaking worried about these things man I'm, I'm actually scared to go to any atm that's not my actual bank atm if i hit checkout here what happens if i hit checkout it's just not working Oh, here we go. So you have an email, phone number, name, address, city, state, zip, country, and place order. Okay, so I'm sure if you fill out the checkout information, it's gonna take you to the buy now page. Gas pump, GSM receiver, point of sale, RFID, readers and writers. This is crazy. Let's press the gas pump one. So when you're putting your debit machine into a gas pump, some of them could be... Oh, that's all they need? Gas pump skimmer kits with GSM module. That's all they need to hack a gas pump. That's creepy. It costs $999, a gas pump skimmer with manufactured GSM module. Oh, that's really creepy, dude. And like I said, you have to take a look at this with a 50 foot pole because any of these websites can be scammed. You send somebody Bitcoin, you can't get that Bitcoin back. I say it in every browsing the dark web video. The next website I'm gonna show you guys here is called the Dark Fox Market. And this is really freaking funny because I found cereal on the deep web. So actual cereal, Kellogg cereal on the dark web. Someone can actually go on the dark web and place an order for cereal. Now take a look at this, Kellogg cereal minis. <laughs> How much does it cost? If I hit purchase, quantity, one of them, purchase, Kellogg cereal. This is not, it's not illegal. It's not like I'm buying drugs. It's not like I'm buying the freaking ATM skinner. Oh, you have to log in and you, should I buy cereal off the deep and dark web? <laughs> should I eat a bowl of cereal and make a short on my second channel? <laughs> Let me know in the comment section. Oh my God. Cereal on the deep and dark web. There's actual Kellogg's, Apple Jacks, Frosted Flakes, Corn Pops, Fruit Loops. Oh my goodness. $5 for one of them. No refunds. <laughs> so if I, wait, what? If I pay $5, do I get the whole fun pack or do I just get one Apple Jacks? That's really freaking crazy. But the next thing I wanted to show you guys in the dark web, it's kind of found on the dark web and off the dark web. It's called the Pirate Bay. The Pirate Bay is a torrent website. And if you guys don't know what torrents are, I don't want to introduce you into the world of torrents and kind of make you start doing it. That's not what it is, but I'm just showing you guys this because it's involved in the deep and dark web and it's pretty freaking interesting. Think of any TV show, think of any movie, think of anything you've ever watched or anything you've ever consumed, any piece of media, whether it's music, anything. It could be found on the Pirate Bay and it could be downloaded onto your computer. Now, downloading torrents is not legal depending on what you're downloading. If you're downloading something on the public domain, it's not illegal, but if you're trying to download the new Spider-Man movie, the, the No Way Home or whatever home Spider-Man movie, if you type in Spider-Man and you just search it, it's literally gonna find it on the Pirate Bay and you can type in anything. And what I'm gonna be doing is I'm actually gonna be opening up a random movie generator on my phone. I'm gonna let this random generator pull up a movie for me and I'm gonna be checking to see if this random movie, whatever random movie that comes up is gonna be on the deep and dark web. So genre, random, rating, random, year, random, generate. Look at that, by the way, Spider-Man No Way Home 2021, 2,279 seeds. This is literally available for download right now. Criminal 2016, let's type that in. Let's see if we could find the torrent for Criminal 2016. I'll be shocked. I just literally typed in a random movie. Look at that, bam, I found it. That's crazy. Let's generate another one. Max 2015, okay. The point I'm trying to make is that any movie could be found on the Pirate Bay. I don't condone downloading any movie. Actually, I'm gonna say it again. Don't download 
torrents. Because if you download torrents, for example, without a VPN, then you can get in a lot of trouble, a lot of trouble. These are all copyrighted material and these people are trying to make money from these projects. That's how they make more projects. And I don't condone it. I don't condone it. I've never downloaded a torrent in my life. Yeah, but that's the pirate bait. And the reason why this exists is because people believe that they shouldn't be paying for stuff on the internet. People believe in power to the people. Essentially, if everything was free, then we wouldn't have any new stuff. We'd all be consuming movies from the 80s and whatnot. You have to really think about it like that. I know free stuff is cool and people line up for free stuff, but I'm telling you, man, you have to support people financially if you guys want to see more work coming because stuff isn't cheap to produce nowadays. But you know what? The next thing I wanted to show you guys in the dark web is by far one of my favorite things that I've ever found. Obviously, this is not official. Obviously, this is definitely probably most likely it is a scam. Stay away from it with the 50 foot pole because I found the damn Apple store on the dark web. Crypto, there's a lot of places that sell Apple products. No, 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 no. Look at this. They have Macs, iPads, iPhones, AirPods, watches, TVs, music, Apple music. So for example, if I hit iPhone, iPhone 13 Pro Max, I want to see how much the iPhone 13 Pro Max goes for. The iPhone Pro Max goes for 550. What? $550 for an iPhone Pro? What? 550 bucks. That's literally half price. So for example, if you go into the iPad Pro 12.9 inch. Hopefully it's the new one. $500 for the 12.9 inch iPad. So I was browsing on the dark web and I literally found the Apple store. And this is, I don't want to say this is the real Apple store. Of course, it's not the real Apple store. But what happened was most likely is that there was a group of criminals that got a hold of a Apple truck or these are stolen directly from people or robberies. I, I don't know. I don't know, man. The thing is like if an Apple product is stolen from a person, what ends up happening is that person locks the iPad and it becomes useless. The parts are essentially more valuable than the entire iPad itself, you know, so but I found it. So if I press GoPro, the GoPro Hero 8 Black free 32 gigabyte SD card included for $200? AirPods, the AirPods Pro. I'm gonna see if they have the AirPods Pro. Oh my God, they do. Oh my God, they do. And when I say they do, they probably don't. If you send them your Bitcoin, you can't get your Bitcoin back. They start celebrating. They don't send you any Apple product. Listen, I'm, I'm just gonna say this. I don't think there is any stolen Apple products that are on the dark web. I think these people are just making really flashy websites so they can convince you to send your cryptocurrency to them. And they won't send you any of these products. But the Apple store on the dark web, nevertheless, like this did raise my eyebrows. I've seen a lot of websites on the dark web. I've seen a lot of creepy stuff. I've seen a lot of Bitcoin generators, yada, yada, yada. But I have not came across like an Apple store website that claims to sell nearly every single Apple product. Apple Watch Series 5. That's pretty obsolete, no? You literally have options for the watch. Look at this 44 millimeter case, $265 for the Apple Watch Series 5. Oh my God, man. This stuff scares the crap out of me seeing it on the deep web because there are people that actually want like new Apple products and there's some people that are willing to make a sacrifice. I'll tell you right now, don't make the sacrifice. Don't send any Bitcoin to any of these people. The next thing I wanted to show you guys here is this website, Professional Hackers for Hire. Finding hackers on the deep and dark web is as easy as throwing a rock. If you can throw a rock and make the rock hit something, including the floor, it's as easy as finding a hacker on the deep and dark web. So I literally in every browse in the dark web video, I just show you guys a different hackers website. We'll show you guys their services over here. They have social media and email hacking, credit score repair, website hacking, need password recovery, financial recovery expert, and any hacking services. Any hacking services. That's what pisses me off. These people are like, you know what? I know we didn't list your favorite one, but we have everything. So just send us money. Testimonials from Lizzie Deck. Thanks to Aura Hackers for helping me hack into my partner mail. How would I have known his dirty deals? I will recommend you anywhere. Thanks. These are totally, totally 100% real reviews. Finding hackers on the dark web, like I said, absolutely simple. Really freaking simple. Another thing you could find on the deep and dark web, a simple as finding hackers, maybe a little bit harder, is finding a hitman on the dark web. Take a look at this web page over here. Hiring a hitman. We take care of your problems permanently. We are professionals and have created a process where you stay completely anonymous, yet they have an email link attached to it. But they offer these categories over here. That's absolutely messed up. But like, for example, the person says make it look like a self takeout or you can do it by poison. Hire a hitman to kill someone with poison. Or you can rent a killer to shot someone and kill them. This is absolutely messed up, man. Obviously, it's fake because these people, I think this is the easiest one to make on the deep web. You know, they just get literal pictures on Google or any search engine. Kill by fire. Rent a hitman to kill someone by fire. Communications. Anonymous email. There is never a reason to not use anonymous email provider. Encrypted email. Always use encrypted email. Never send a clear text message. Always your PGP to encrypt your messages. Obviously, they accept payments using Bitcoin. I want to see what happens if I press kill by poison. By the way, finding poison on the deep and dark web, cyanide on the dark web, really freaking easy. All you got to do is go to a search engine and type it in, which is alarming if you think about it. 18,000 dollars to take somebody out with poison. This is not as straightforward as shotting someone. This is a quick and painless death. Painless? Isn't, is it 
being poisoned painful? They have to give them the name of the target, the full name of the target, the complete address of the target, the work address of the target if known, the make, model, and color of target's car if known, does the target live alone, recent photo of target, does the target have a dog? <laughs> <laughs> They're worried about the target having a dog. Oh boy. Once you fund the account, we have 14 days to fulfill the contract or you get your money back. Oh my God. I hate when people on the dark web say you get your money back because when, like I said, when you're playing with Bitcoin, nobody, nobody is going to have a Bitcoin wallet. Be like, oh, I have to provide this person with a re... Nobody does it. I don't think it's ever happened one time in the history of ever. Another thing you can find on the deep and dark web are marketplaces. I show you guys at least one marketplace in every single video. And this marketplace here is called the dark Dark market and like I said just stay away from all these with a 50 foot pole essentially it's not the website itself that's a scam but it's typically the vendors on these websites that become scammers a lot of the times like nine times out of ten when a dark web market is open eventually the people who made the dark web market are gonna exit scam and take all the money that's within their database within their server you know I think dark market is the same thing just like every other marketplace on the dark web it has all the other same stuff like for example if you go here and you type guns you can find guns on the dark web I'm gonna be blurring the screen because YouTube don't like but just to show you guys that there's prices for weapons on the deep and dark web for one thousand one hundred and twenty dollars they have an fn 15 for 369 dollars they have a nine millimeter but yeah like nine times out of ten when you go on a dark web marketplace they're gonna have weapons for sale like you can also click on electronics and they're typically gonna have cell phones computers laptops like look at this the apple iphone 12 pro max 512 gigabytes any color for four hundred dollars a 2021 apple macbook pro 14 inch apple m1 pro chip with an eight core cpu and a 14 core gpu this is the m1 pro oh wow if you hit documents on the dark market you can typically find like passports or like a german identity card a dutch identity card so i can get a id to the netherlands a german passport an australian passport a british passport counterfeits counterfeit currency fake money but i don't know here's the thing how is it fake money if it passes machine tests like if you put it under a uv light and it shows that it's technically real how is that fake money counterfeit australian dollar six thousand dollars worth of australian dollars for 210 what canadian dollars counterfeit canadian dollar banknotes three thousand dollars worth of fake banknotes canadian banknotes 110 dollars so if i click it i just want to see holograms and holographic strips micro lettering metallic ink and thread watermarks ir detection ultraviolet options see-through options different serial numbers our notes are triple a plus grade quality and have a subsequent properties that are found on the government issued notes okay so that's it that's what makes them fake that's what tells them apart but essentially they both pass the same test that's what i really hate about money the only people that find money valuable is the people that agree that money is valuable essentially you and me and the banks that's the difference between cryptocurrency and money anyways without boring you guys i wanted to show you guys a pretty funny website here this website is called uh the ejaculation timer they made a website that actually tells people the last time that they um ejaculated the last time they nutted was the 1st of february 2022 at 603 which was 23 hours and 37 minutes ago at the time of this very recording and he even tells you how it felt like who is this person S some statistics and probabilities what this is the person that's him last 48 hours one time longest duration seven days 16 hours and seven minutes the shortest duration one hour and 33 minutes average per day 0.51 this guy actually has statistics and probabilities the probability for today not applicable <laughs> <laughs> this is brilliant. I can't believe this website actually exists on the deep and dark web. Salute to you, kind sir. This is the last time he nutted. It was almost 24 hours ago, down to the exact minute. Oh my God. This is one of my favorite links I've probably came across on the deep and dark web. I like it. I didn't even know about the statistics thing, but check out the new feature. Click here. Oh no, what are you gonna do? Fapping support. Wife? What? 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 He left a- Why? Why would you do that? <laughs> I have to see it. Please don't be bad. I am 18 years of age or older. He literally posted up a tape with him and his wife. I just wanted to say to the person that created this website, I know what your wife looks like without any clothes on. Nice. It's <laughs> awesome. The next thing I wanted to show you guys in the deep and dark web, and I want you guys to actually just hear me out when I say this, this stuff, stay away from this stuff. Now, I said that a million times in this video, but I actually really physically mean it for the next topic that I want to talk about. This is 19 hospital database hacking. We can hack your local hospital database and add you to as in their database this service is for people who want to be marked as 
COVID without being touched by doctors. The price per vaccinated person is $100 US dollars. They'll put you into the database for $100. That's not a scary price because some people are willing to pay thousands for this type of stuff. They want your full name, your country, your state, your city, address, zip code. This is absolutely freaking crazy. Now this website here doesn't actually have a add to cart option where you can check out and pay with Bitcoin. You actually have to contact the person via email. And anytime I find a website like that, I actually get sketched out damn near immediately. That's when I came across this website over here. Now this website is where people are actually selling the physical needle for the dose. Stay away from that because who knows what can be inside that, bro. They can put urine inside there for all you know. They can put anything inside there if you're buying it on the deep web. At least, at least for all we know, when we're going to the Walmart or we're going to a place where we're getting the needle, that's the different story. But when if you're going on the deep web and you're buying it, that's absolutely risky. This one here says it's out of stock. That's absolutely freaking crazy. So that, that's, that means people went on this website and actually paid to buy the dosage. If I hit the Astro one, the $250 one here, 10 shots of them for $250. Where are they getting it from? Are these scientists that are creating it themselves and listing it on the deep and dark web? Are they stealing it from pharmacies? Where are they getting these from? So if I add it to cart, what happens? Anything I see with an add to cart option actually creeps me out. Oh my God, it actually added to the cart. What? Choose a cryptocurrency. They select, oh my God, they select a Monero. They accept Monero. That's completely untraceable. Doesn't mean you can get your money back. If you send them the cryptocurrency and it's a scam, it, you're still going to get scammed, but at least you won't get traced. Oh, that's absolutely freaking creepy. We have a couple more links to show you and we're essentially going to be joining a cult on the deep and dark web. I found a cult website. We're going to be joining a cult <laughs> on the dark web. It's really freaking creepy. I want you guys to take a look at it. It's actually one of the best like welcome to the game looking websites I've ever seen, but stay away from this at all costs. Like I can tell you guys to stay away from marketplaces. I can tell you guys to stay away from hitman looking websites or hacker looking websites. But from the bottom of my heart, I genuinely don't want anybody to purchase anything like this because no matter what you believe, I'm not trying to fight your opinion here, but no matter what you believe, we can all agree that this is sketchy. The next thing I wanted to show you guys before I show you guys the cult, the second last link, this is the alien evolution. I found this page while just doing some simple browsing on the dark web. And it's apparently the alien zone of the dark web, like the area 51 of the dark web. It's like a really short link, but it's like, it was impossible for me to find this freaking link without looking, you know, I didn't type in alien. I didn't type in anything. I was just typing in random keywords and I press start here and let's see what's going to happen. Don't, don't, no jump scares. Connecting to socket in space. No one can hear you loading. Connection verified. Oh, hell no. What do you mean connection verified? What is this? What is this? Arcade. Donkey Kong, Nintendo 1981. Don't tell me I can play Donkey Kong. If I can play Donkey Kong, I will be hyped. No way. I am playing Donkey Kong 1981. This game was hype, bro. I used to play this all the time. No, 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 no. Get back. Oh, it's lagging like big time. That's really freaking cool though. Take a look at all these games over here. If you guys recognize any of these, tell me in the comment section, which one is your favorite game? Because they have all these classic games here. If you recognize any of them, just tell me in the comment section. These are fully emulated games. If you guys want me to browse through this entire alien website, just let me know in the comment section. Oh, actually, there's one more website I wanted to show you guys here before the call thing. Congratulations. You have landed on the most groundbreaking and informative site on the net. They have information about spiritual and social, environmental, Celtic, politics, prophecy scripture ufos literally all the conspiracies you can think of is on this website like if you if you click on ufos for example ufos they do exist find the truth about ufos on this informative page if you click it it's going to take you to all this information about ufos breaking information apparently the most groundbreaking information on the net they don't sell you anything apparently they're not selling you anything they're just like giving you free information and that's what i love about the deep and dark web free information as far as the eye can see you know until they start asking you for bitcoin who is darth vader in reality yes earth's reality what does Jedi mean? Could you complete the training? Where on this planet is Endor? It is on planet Earth. Click and you will find out the answers. Like I said, this website here is just kind of like a tinfoil hat territory website, kind of a conspiracy website on the deep web. You can find a lot of these on the dark web, but this one here I want to show you guys for the video. And finally, finally, when you're on the deep web, you're gonna be finding really weird links that try to indoctrinate you into a cult. Now, what do, what do I mean by that? This link over here says wanderer. Are you lost? The dissolved sixfold path awaits you. Now, what is the dissolved sixfold path? I still don't know, but I can show you guys what the website looks like. And it's just trying to welcome somebody named Aranos into your heart. Like every other cult in the world, they're trying to make people believe in something bigger than them or whatnot. But let's take a look at what they offer over here. Wanderer, please welcome Aranos into your heart. It is a work of power. It is a work of self-discovery. The dissolved sixfold path awaits the worthy. Prepare to experience death and rebirth. So apparently I'm going to experience death 
and rebirth. I don't know. No, oh wanderer, that there are six audio files empowered with occult force forming this terrible path. Work with them one by one in their given order. Now, if you take a look over here, number six is the instructions, and I want you guys to really read this over here. For each of the six pages, intone the opening words several times, no more than for one minute. Then listen to the audio. Once you are listening to the sound of the trial, keep that word in mind, trial, repeat without count the other set of names. The warden will come, overwhelming your mind. He will try to humiliate yourself and try to make you feel unworthy. Do not surrender to the warden. Keep in mind that you are worthy and ready to experience empowerment, for it is only through your own insecurities and fears that the warden acts. He uses your shadows to beat you, therefore you are the only one allowing defeat. Number seven is cursed be the ones who fail. So if you fail this ritual indoctrination into this cult or whatever the heck you want to call it, you'll be cursed. That's really freaking creepy. So those who will understand what this work is really about will gain salvation. Gaining salvation from understanding what lies beneath these six pages. Okay. For those who understand each of these forces, knowing them is called to become a great adept. I still don't know what that means, but number 10 is the sixth warden is the crown. Do I really want to partake in this ritual for the video? Hell yeah, let's get it. Page one, let's get it. Um, okay, three minutes and 54 seconds long. Oh, what the hell? No, please, warden, have mercy. I want this pain to end. Help me. Vinayal is the first warden. Repeat this for one minute before listening to the audio. Ara Yuhavona. This will open the ritual. Repeat Raziel a Vinayal during the listening session and Sensei Vinayal's presence. Dude, this is so creepy. This is actually creepy. Oh, dude, I'm actually scared. I'm actually really freaking worried. Ladies and gentlemen, smash the like button if you made it to this point in the video. Oh my god. So I have to repeat this for one minute before listening to the audio. Ara Yuhavona. Ara Yuhavona. Razael, uh, bro, this is so weird. I feel so weird doing this. Oh my god. Raziel uh, Viniel. Raziel uh, Vinayl. I'm not facing any shadows right now, I'll tell you right now, I'm facing a dot onion page on the dark web. Vinayl is the first warden. I th think that voice, the oh, voice is the warden. Are we all joining a call together? <laughs> this is terrible. Oh no, I have to see what happens until the end. I gotta see what happens. Show yourself, Vinayl. And we officially beat Vinayl. Vinayl, Vinayl. I don't know what the heck his name is, but we finished number one. Let's go to number two. Three minutes and 41 seconds yet again. What's going on here? I am in pain. The might of the warden destroyed me. Don't let him dominate you. Please be resilient. Grohl is the second warden. Repeat this for one minute before listening to the audio. Fina Rawa Naha. This will open the ritual. <laughs> The second warden sounds the same. Hello there, warden. Could you grant me pass to what the secret is all about? What does salvation even mean, warden? I don't fear you, dot onion warden. Fight the warden by overcoming the shadows you face. Raziel a uh, Garohal. Raziel a uh, Garohal. Raziel a uh, Garohal. I am joining a dark web call. Uh, bro, this this song is fire. <laughs> Am I supposed to know what these people look like? I'll draw a picture for you guys in my head. Uh, I see a mustache, twirly mustache, a little French twirly mustache. About like seven foot nine. It's got blonde hair, orange eyes. It's got a 14 inch schmeckle. I don't even think that's considered a schmeckle. Growl is hung, bro. Uh, oh, my chest hurts. Oh, shit. Oh, what is that? Felt a little uncomfortable there for a second. I feel weird. What is this? Okay, we're on page number two right now out of page number six, and I currently am fighting Garoel. I'm not joking right now, I actually am genuinely uncomfortable. No, I'm not even capping. <coughs> <coughs> I wonder who the next warden's gonna be. There's six of these douchebags. Okay, I guess we defeated Garoel. Now we go on to page number three. I don't want to stop existing. Please, mighty warden, don't awake these shadows. Garoel is the third warden. What's his name? Joral. Joral? Joral? Joral. 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 Repeat this one for one minute before listening to the audio. Jola Isanawa. Jola Isanawa. Jola Isanawa. Raziel a Joral. Raziel a 
Jorel. <coughs> Wonderful. So now I'm back on the main page and now we're going to number four. No, please stop it. I don't want to suffer. I am worth more than that. Help me. Sanoil. Sanoil is the fourth warden. Repeat this for one minute before listening to the audio. No, na, no, na, ha, ha. No, na, no, na, ha, ha. No, 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 ha, ha. Razael a Sanoyal. Razael a Sanoyal. That's kind of creepy, I'm not gonna lie. Yo, fam. Great, we are, um, we're almost there. This isn't a game. I want to survive. Have mercy. Hell is terrifying. Aranoel. What? What the kind of names are these, bro? Who named these kids? You are in a well. You're in a well? You're in a well. You're in a well. You're in a well. <laughs> Raziel, ah, you're in a well. Raziel, ah, you're in a well. <laughs> Wonderful. Now we are <laughs> we're on to the last warden. We finished from uh, you're in a well and now we are on to the final one, number 6. We're finally going to reach salvation according to this nonsensical nonsense. All of this because of pain, mankind doesn't deserve happiness. Goodbye. Fal is the final warden. That's so easy to remember. Ah, ah, ah. Ah. <laughs> Out of all of them, I actually genuinely felt weird. I think from the second one or the first, I don't know which one it was, but it actually made me feel really freaking weird. <laughs> Raziel lost all meaning. <laughs> Raziel fell, Raziel fell, and apparently, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, boom, salvation. That's what I'm talking about. We have hit salvation, ladies and gentlemen. What happens? So, there was six pages. Let's hit number seven. Maybe there is one. Curious now, aren't we? What? Oh, that's a little creepy. What about number eight? I love that you're looking deeper. Going further is how mysteries are revealed. Going further is how the mysteries are revealed? Oh, dude, this is gonna kill me. Oh, who is this? Is that Fal? Is that the warden? Fam, you need a bra. It stops at 11. There were 10 pages here. Do you want to go even deeper? That's genuinely where it ends. That's really freaking creepy, man. I'm wondering for all the people that didn't get that far. That's really, really odd. The next link I want to show you guys, and I'm wearing a different hoodie right now because this is actually recorded on a different day, and I wanted to attach this to my Browsing the Dark Web video. I was forwarded a link from one of my fans, which I love when people do that. I love when people give me dot onion sites, but they told me to take a look at this because this is probably one of the only archives they've ever found. When I mean it's an archive, it's not a actual live stream where you can pay to visit the live stream and see a whole bunch of people. It was actually a red room that happened in the past and there's just an archived version of it the file for the archived version is called delete immediately and i have access to it over here and i'm not gonna be sharing the onion link with you guys for obvious reasons but uh, i have the video here and the video I, i'm gonna completely blur it out again for obvious reasons but you guys can take a look at my reaction it's a seven minutes and 27 seconds long i'm just gonna show you guys highlights of my reaction and if i'm even able to watch the entire seven minutes so let's take a look just a bunch of weird sounds, kind of dark. What is that? What is that? Oh, that's a person. Oh my god. Dude, this is so freaking weird. What are they doing to them? Oh. Oh my god, there's more people in there. Oh my god, how many people are here? Oh my... I'm literally a minute and 23 seconds into this and it gets really freaking bad damn near a minute. I can't watch this entire thing. Oh my god, I can't watch this entire thing. Those are the... Those are the soup guys! You guys have all seen that infamous dark web video where those two people are comforting that man eating soup. Those are the... Those are the two... I'm not showing the... I'm not showing this video. I'm not showing the video. I'll show you guys a flash on the screen. That looks like freaking bacon. What is he doing? What is... Oh, he's gonna make him eat it? What is that? Oh, dude, this is one of the creepiest things I've ever seen. Listen, essentially, you guys are gonna be taking a look at just a bunch of blurred footage, but... Dude, this is legit. This is actual legit. The link is literally in the middle of... The... What is that? What are you doing? Oh my god!
Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done watching this. I'm done. Forcefully forgetting that onion link that was just sent to me. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's all for this video. If you made it this far into the video, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and put on that notification bell to be notified whenever I upload another dark web browsing video or another mystery box, dark web mystery box. I know you guys love those videos. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much. I will see you in the future. And remember to stay off the dark web.